80s this way, 80s, 90s, 20s this way. But I'm still getting a solid tone there. If I get a bunch of grunts one way, I usually don't dig those targets up. But I'm gonna dig this one up too because I don't really know this coil very good. And yeah, can you tell? <laughs> I don't know this coil very good. It's gonna be deep. No. Right here. Oh man, it is super hard down there. I mean, really hard. Glad that it's right here. It's a penny right there. No, it's a dime. It's a dime reading up like that. That's crazy, man. Dimes should not be sounding like that. But I am using this new, newer coil, so, you know, I'm just try, trying to work with this coil a little bit today, testing it out. See that? It's really erratic. That was a, oh, I had no idea that was gonna be a dime. It's a little bit trashy here. I mean, if there's not very much trash here on the surface. Flip that up to the other side. There's a Corona cap. I'll show you. These bottle caps sound really good when they're sitting like this. When they're sitting like that, they don't sound that great. Or if they're on their edge, they sound sometimes pretty good. Or if they're really rusty, if they're really rusty, they sound good no matter what. I mean, if they're deep and rusty, they just. I dig a lot of those deep bottle caps, man. I dig a lot, a lot of bottle caps, period, anyway. Just because I, I want to know what's underneath the bottle caps. Because where you're finding bottle caps, you're going to find some good stuff, right? I've had some really good finds under, in areas where I've been finding a lot of bottle caps. And I dig them up. So this curb strip right here, this curb strip right here is not watered. And this is the summertime. See this right here? It's dry. Dry as a bone. I'm not gonna dig there, right? I'm gonna go with this green grass here. I'm gonna go with this green area where they water it a lot. See all this grass out here? It's nice and green. So I'm not gonna do any damage to the grass. And it's not really damage. I mean, it rains so much here in, you know, in September and October and all winter long. It rains so much in here. It's nearly impossible to kill the grass, right? This this looks really, oh, it's soft. It's soft, I was wrong. No. I wanna, I'll go over next, this tree right here. Huh, looks like the squirrels have been tearing it up over here. Yeah, the squirrels have been digging, digging holes for nuts. Pine cones everywhere. I'm gonna jack it up all the way. I was at five bars before. Yeah, these uh, these pine cones really make it tough. Really make it tough to get through, get my coil all the way down the ground there. Something really big there. Hi there, Branch. <laughs> I don't like that one. I would imagine there would be a lot more coins here, but there's not.
this one sounds kind of big, but I think it's gonna be a penny right on the surface. It's reading a solid 52, man. Solid 52. This could be a ring to you. Ew. It's not even hitting it. Oh, it's hitting a little bit right there. Looks like the squirrel's been digging up right here, too. Hope it's not a cat. Yeah, that would suck, huh? That would really suck. I don't like digging up cat shit. <laughs> Not my favorite thing to do, is dig up cat poop. And just nasty stuff, man. I think cat poop is the nastiest smelling poop on earth, man. I would rather eat dog shit than smell cat shit, all right? I think I just felt it. No, I didn't. Oh, it's down there somewhere. Hmm. I think it's gonna be big just like I thought. Watch it be a cat turd. I am done for the day if it's a cat turd. It's a pull tab right there. I usually go home when I dig up cat poop, man. I throw my gloves away. Throw my detector away. Throw all my tools away. And I don't detect for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> when I dig up cat shit. <laughs> right. It's just no fun, man. Some foil right on the surface. I can see it right there. A little watered up piece of foil. I always pick them pieces up, man. Because they sink. Easier to pluck it off the surface than it is to dig it, right? Here's a good one right here. Yes. I think it's gonna be right on the surface here. Pull tab or something. Ooh. Right here, I'm just gonna pop it out. I'm gonna give it one single pop. Probably right in here. Nope. Oh, it's deep. It's probably a pull tab. Right there. It's a nickel, man. It's a nickel. It's another Vino. I just got a Vino a few minutes ago, so I'm like in high alert right now for Vino. It's just a uh, Jefferson nickel. Yeah, it's a Jefferson. <laughs> Ooh, that's big. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my big coil on here. A bunch of sap there. I'm gonna put my big coil on here and I'm gonna go out to the far corner over there next to those trees. And I'm gonna see if I can smack out a silver coin or something. Thank you for watching, please subscribe.